All right, my name's Clinton from the doorway. Oh, you're filming? Oh, yeah. God damn it. Don't right. do, do. <laughs> like, That's a weird fucking. Let me just take one long fucking photo. Well, yeah, I'm just gonna take like a hundred pictures and that's it. No. Oh my God. Um, anyway, so my name is Clinton from the doorway too. Uh, pleasure to meet you. I yeah. just uh, thank you very much for taking the time. Uh, first question I kind of want to ask is what made this whole tour come about? Because it's been a bit of time since I saw you back on the the Smell of Rain tour back in Tampa, Florida, many, many, many moons ago. But what made you come back to the U.S. and do this tour? Uh, well, I, I mean, I did a U.S. tour about nine months ago. Yeah. Um, which basically covered uh, small fraction of the states mm -hmm. and uh, I mean you know we could have done like a whole thing like a four week month kind of thing but I don't like to be out that long anymore mm -hmm. for various reasons um, so yeah this is this is kind of like you know part two of that tour so that's I mean that's 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 basically the answer to that you know I cool. mean, we, we um, yeah we did 10 dates uh, while, while back now we did 15 so nice we're kinda like you know well, we're glad to have so you back in Arizona so we're yeah. definitely glad to have you back uh, so I kind of want to ask a little bit uh, there's been definite phases of your career. Yeah. Uh, so you've gone more the dungeon synth stuff and the more, I would say, fantasy stuff earlier on, and then it went a lot more electronic, in my opinion. And then you're kind of full circle again back in what I would call dungeon synth or more fantasy synth stuff. Well, that's a term that yeah. got invented <laughs> late in later years. I don't necessarily, that wasn't, I didn't invent that. I didn't think you did, but. I, I thought it was weird. I mean, I'm, I'm getting used to it. <laughs> no, cool. So what made you go back to more of the older sound or older style that you were doing originally? Uh, just, uh, you know, um, it felt like it was time. I was um, I was getting into the idea of putting the mask back on. Hmm. Uh, I was thinking about it for, that for a couple of years while doing the industrial rock band. And, mm -hmm. um, then we took a break from the industrial thing and I went back to being solo. And, uh, you know, I just felt like, all right, you know, fuck, man, let's just go back, you know, do do the old f stuff and see what happens. And um, here I am, like, a couple of years later, and, you know, fucking 80 to 100 shows later, you know. <laughs> it's going pretty well. Cool. Yeah. yeah. So it, the new record kind of feels like a continuation of the, the older yeah, materials. The, old, the older materials. I don't know if that's the truth or not, but. I think that's pretty close to what, it, what ended up happening. I mean, when I started making that music, I wasn't sure what I was doing, it just kind of like that. What I what I always do when I make music, I just let whatever feels natural just happen. Um, I don't necessarily, I don't plan out like mm -hmm. it's gonna sound like this, it's gonna sound like that. I, I just kind of like you know, I start something and and then you know, one thing leads to another and it, it ends up being whatever it, it is. So um, you know, that's pretty natural way of making albums as far as I'm concerned. And you know, here we are. You know. So. I want to dig back in a little bit into the past. Um, so I really love Vond. I think it's oh some. I, I think it's some of my favorite. I, I always called it like the darker side of what you did. Uh, I, I I wouldn't. It's, it's the, I would like to die side of. It. <laughs> that, yeah, that was me in back in life. Yeah. Uh, so what brought that about, and why have we not seen much of anything in quite a while? Um, I quite flank. <laughs> I haven't really felt the need for it. Okay. Um, what brought that about was um, I started Morris back in you know, the early 90s, and, uh, you know, I, I, it's this strange conceptual thing. And uh, a couple years into that, um, there were a lot of, like, really negative... I've always been, like, kind of haunted by darker sides of my psyche, sure. you know. And uh, I felt like I should probably have a, a, a way to sort of ventilate that in a creative kind of way. And then that was a great thing for me in the 90s to do. Um, thankfully, in later years, I haven't really felt Good. the need to, you know, express myself in very super negative ways, mm -hmm. which is great. That's a, because that makes me want to feel like I want to stay alive and all that. But so that's really the reason. I mean, Vaughn was there. Um, as a way for me to exercise some really dark shit. Absolutely. Yeah. So the more industrial rock period that you had, um, you toured quite a bit, I saw, and uh, you had a little more press and push that I saw. Uh, do you see those fans coming to this kind of event, or is it more the older fans that from the past I that you think, see? I think a lot of the older fans will 
probably be well and they have been sort of crawling out of the woodwork again which is interesting to see i'm one of them that's fine oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah but the, the, you get the crossover people i always did get the crossover people but you can't expect to mm -hmm. please everyone with everything you do because what i do is such a broad kind of palette of, of music and, and sounds um it would be unrealistic to to think that everybody was gonna like everything that you ever do you know what i mean uh, I think some will do and some won't, but that's just reality. Is this tour a tougher tour for you to do or a much easier kind of tour for you to do? Uh, it's just different. Different? Yeah. How would how would it be different from doing the more industrial rock kind of stuff? Um, it's actually kind of hard to explain that, but... Do you have to I get yourself in the mood, like in a mood not, for it? No, or? The, the mask and the outfit does that cool. very well for me. As soon as I get into that, I mean, there's a definite feeling of being, you know, an outsider or something like that. So that's all good. But um, I, th I think maybe the fact that this is me on stage, that's always a bit odd. I mean, I'm used to it now because I've done a lot of shows in the past couple of years. Um, when I did the, the, when I toured with the band, it was like, there's a group of guys mm -hmm. fucking getting drunk before we got on stage and it's like it's fucking you know whatever happens happens sure. now I guess I guess being alone on stage makes you feel a lot more self-conscious about stuff and all that shit you know but I mean I'm getting used to it you cool. know? And, uh, so it's cool but it's 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 hard to put a finger on what that is but it's different that's really all I can say so is it the actual album you're doing live, or is it kind of an imper interpretation of the album? No, it's, it's the album. I mean, okay. it's it's the spirit of rebellion, which yeah. in itself is this, and this that in itself mm -hmm. is the reinterpretation of a lot of the stuff I did back in the '90s. Okay. So it's it's uh, in that sense, I guess it's a kind of a conceptual tour. Awesome, and I would say this is kind of interesting tour. I know your tour mates are kind of sitting over there right now a bit too. Right. It's kind of an interesting tour. So it's like extremity meets. Uh, more just dark synth ambience. So, yeah. uh, how did that come about? Like, how how did this tour come about? Was it did you did you ask them to come along with you? Did you hear them and be interested? Like, how, how did that happen? All of the stuff you just said. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I mean, you know, there's there's a there's a connection between. I mean, they were experimental and dark, you know, and I, you know, and they got they're, they're doing their thing on their level. I do my shit on my level, and I think we connect on that sort of like atmospheric, sort of uh, strange kind of channel. And I thought that would be a good match, and I, so far I believe I've been right about that. Awesome. Um, where do you see Morse going to? Like, what's the next phase? What's the next step? Are you going to continue on with what you're doing now, or is there a whole new plan for a different sound, a different style to come through? I don't have a plan for like a total 180 okay. fucking change. I mean, I mean... I might want to do something slightly different next time, but it's. I think by and large, it's going to be along the lines of what I'm, what I'm doing right now, with with, with you know, it's a minor sort of you know evolutionary sort of mm -hmm. steps. We'll just we'll just have to see. I mean, I, I'm I'm kind of like brooding on some ideas and shit like that, but um, I have a tendency to you know want to do it, go in that direction, and I kind of end up going in that direction, you know. So like like I like I told you like earlier on, like you know I, I just let nature sort of like take control and we'll see what happens. Are you doing anything outside of Mortis right now? Uh, musically, writing, uh, artwork, well, anything? I do a yeah. lot of like lounge pianos stuff okay. in hotels. Okay. <laughs> I, <laughs> sure. No, yeah. I'm focusing on Mortis. Okay. Yeah. Um, so at the end, at, at, yeah, that was awesome. Yeah. Uh, at, 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 no, it's awesome. Uh, at, at the end of the day, if the career is coming to a close, what do you want? Oh, it's dead. Uh, it's been dead for a while? Oh, right. yeah, right. for about 25 years. <laughs> so what would you want people to remember you most for? Like, what's the one thing if you could be remembered for? My porno career. That's fantastic. Yeah. It's been pretty good. It's been good? Yeah, yeah. All right, awesome. Fantastic. Uh, we'll need a couple of titles to know after this, but all right. That's, <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I just want to say thank you very much. I, I appreciate your time yeah. very much, no, and you uh, I, I hope the rest of the tour is great. Thank you so much. Yeah, bye.